Okay, so here we're given the general velocity, okay, at time t of this particle. Um, so 7 sine 2ti plus 6 cos 3tj. So part A then, I want us to get the acceleration. And remember, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, how velocity changes. So we need to differentiate this, okay? So this brings in your pure, um, what you learn in pure here. So you need to remember how to differentiate. Of course, the 7 in front stays there. And you just need to remember sine 2t becomes cos 2t. And you obviously then times it by the derivative of this. Yes, yeah? so you've got to differentiate this. If you times it by 2, okay? And then your i there. And then you same here. Well, we know that cos becomes minus sine. So I'm going to have minus 6 sine of 3t. But don't forget then, because it's cos of 3t, it becomes minus sine of 3t. But you've got to times it by the derivative, which is 3 j so tidying that up then well the two can go at the front okay because it's times in by two so you get seven times two is 14 cos 2t i and then the three goes in the front there so you get 18 sine 3t j there okay part b then says uh so they're given this condition when t is zero it has position vector this here find the position vector of the particle when t is pi over two okay so we want to we want the position vector for a specific time okay um, but for, in order for that, we need to get the general specific vector, okay, from here. Now, remember, okay, for position vector, we use the letter R, yeah? And also remember that um, velocity is the rate of change of R, yeah? It's the rate of change of displacement. So it's the rate of change of this position vector. So we can put dr by dt equals to this expression for um, v, Okay, um, we're going to then take the dt over to the side, so we get integral then, um, separate the variables, integral both sides, okay, so now we need to integrate, so when we integrate, we've got 1 here, 1 dr, so that just becomes r, don't forget to underline it because it is a position vector, now when you integrate sine 2t, Remember, when you integrate sine, integrate sine, it becomes minus cos, yeah? So this becomes minus 7 cos of 2t, but you've got to then divide by the derivative in there. So you've got to divide by 2, yeah? That's what we've learned. Um, and cos, when you integrate it, when you integrate cos, it just becomes plus sine, yeah? It stays, the sine stays as a plus. So here, plus 6 sine of 3t, divide by the derivative there of 3, okay? J, okay, and then not forgetting, of course, the constant, okay, that we're going to add on there. So, um, t tidying this up a little bit, first of all, we've got minus 7 over 2 cos 2ti, okay, so I can put that 2 in front and write it as a fraction, 7 over 2, and 6 is 3 here, 6 divided by 3 is 2, isn't it, okay? Now, um, so they say, look, when t is 0, okay, they're given this condition, is not they? When t is 0, they said r is 0.5i plus 3j. So we can sub that in, right? 0.5i plus 3j equals to minus 7 over 2 cos of 0i plus then 2 sine. Um, we'll put t 0 there. It's just 0, isn't it? j plus c. Okay. So um, you might know what these sort of values are um, anyway, right? Um um, but you can use a calculator. Remember in radian mode as well, okay? When we have calculus, we've got to put, we've got to put um, the measure in radian on a calculator. So 0.5i plus 3j. Now, cos of 0 is actually 1, okay? So that becomes 1. Sine of 0 is 0, okay? So that just goes. So you've got plus c there. That implies then that c is equal to, well, if I take that over to the side, I get 4i plus j okay so therefore i've got my r is equal to minus 7 over 2 cos 2ti plus 2 sine 3tj plus 4i plus 3j and then they say what's the position vector when t is pi over 2 so when t is pi over 2 okay we'll have r equals 2 well let's group the i's here as well now because if we look at the i's i got this and this so I've got, if I write that first, I've got 4, 
and then minus 7 over 2 cos. Now, when I put pi over 2 in here, okay, you've got to times it by 2 over new because it's 2 times t. So 2 times pi over 2 just becomes pi i. And then you've got the j's then. Well, let's put that 3 first, plus then 2 psi. Well, this will be 3 pi over 2. Okay, j. So on my calculator, um, let's put this into um, uh, rad mode, okay? So I've got that there, so let's just type it in. So let's do it on one go. 4, take away uh, 7 over 2, cos pi, so I get out 15 over 2. So 7.5, that would be, wouldn't it? And then the other one there, 3 plus 2 sine, uh, 3 pi over 2. Oops. So I've got that out to be 1. Okay, so that's my answer. That's my position vector. That's what they want. 15 over 2i plus j.